Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to show you how to harvest your sugar drops. Now I'm on level 902, so I might want to choose something like level 666 to collect my sugar drops from, but I've got some friends who are a little bit lower than that. I'm going to go down to level 281, and notice I've got this open on three different screens. And that's because I want to do this as efficiently as possible. I want to get all of my collection done within 15 minutes. And so what I do is I take every one of these down to level 281. Let's come find it here. Click on that. Now it takes a little bit of time to go all the way down there. I understand that. And that's a little bit irritating. You'll notice I'm using the map screen to do this. But it takes a lot less time to do this, and it's kind of thoughtless, I can be thinking about other things, than it does to go to each individual level um, that I can collect sugar drops from and play it through. So I find this method uh, much more efficient. There's the second one, and while that's opening up, I can hit play here, and I can hit play here. Now, this may not be your favorite level. You might have a different level that you prefer collecting your sugar drops from, and this works on each one of the levels. Uh, also, this is on Mozilla. I've got another um, tutorial on how to collect your sugar drops from level uh, 1476 from Chrome which doesn't freeze up as much as Mozilla does for me on my computer. I'm sure it's a something to do with the combination of the um, what version I'm using of Mozilla and what version I'm using of Flash Player. It's always that. That'll help to crash a level. Okay, and I'm bringing them all to the same spot and the trick here is I want to open each one on level 281 before I go any further. Because if I, excuse me, if I don't have them open, then what happens is uh, I can't enter them again. But here I'm entering all of them at the same time, and so I'll be able to play them all. So let's see. Uh, now I just start making moves on each of these screens as I can. Oh, it's really laggy. Like I said, I prefer Chrome for this <laughs> application, but we're still going to make it work. Not everybody uses Chrome. I want to make it easy for everyone. And I only have 15 minutes of recording time on the recording uh, application that I use, so I know I have to get this done in 15 minutes. Now the trick here, though, is I get color the um, sugar drops created. Every time I make a cascade, uh, I make an initial move and then at least three other moves are created after that initial move. That's a sufficient cascade. Right now I can't really do that. I don't have a lot of uh, space on this board. As I open things up, I'll have a better opportunity. Now the trick here to doing this in only three screens is that I will need to make sure that on each of these three screens I'm able to collect an average of 30 sugar drops and I'm able to beat the level. If I haven't been able to do that, if I've only been averaging 20, then what I'm going to do is open up four screens. Now I don't have to play these concurrently. I can play them consecutively. I could um, open up one tab and play it through. See how we got that sugar drop created now? I could play it through and then I could um, wait until that tab is done and go to the next one, and that makes it so it's not quite so laggy. Here I'm just going to take this with anything. Notice that my uh, ultimate goal is to reach, I don't know how many it was, probably about 300 green candies, but that doesn't matter. I actually don't want to reach that too quickly. I want to allow this to continue going pretty much as long as I can. Eventually I want to be able to beat the level, but I don't want to beat it too early. Because the thing about um, sugar drop production is I get the opportunity to earn one of these per catalyst, per event. And the catalyst here is the turn taking. On some levels, like in the higher levels when you get to level 1476, which is my favorite for collecting sugar drops, you get two catalysts. You get 
uh, the turn taking, but then also there are UFOs. And every time you set a UFO off, you can earn a, a sugar drop if it creates that cascade. And so if I, you know, I don't know how many moves I started out with, probably 50. If I have a total of 50 moves and I complete the level in 20 moves, that's 30 potential color bombs I haven't created. And, you know, considering I have that initial phase where it's almost impossible for me to make color bombs because I can't cascade when I don't have the room to do it, I want to maximize the potential I have here. Now the other thing, and this is only true of PCs, not of mobile devices, but the other thing to be aware of is if I'm able to beat the level, my sugar drops that I've collected in my apothecary jar, those are doubled. And so let's say I have the opportunity at the very end, I've got one move left, and I can either win the level with that move or I can collect another sugar drop. You might think, well, I'm not playing this to win the level. I've already beaten this level. I just want the sugar drops. So I'm going to go for that. No, you always want to go for winning the level because instead of getting one extra sugar drop, you will effectively double the number you've achieved. Now, if I were playing this with... Um, any kind of attention, I would be looking to make sure I can make cascades. I am not paying with attention. What I'm doing is I'm just making a move and hoping that the cascades happen because I'm playing low to the ground here. And as I play low to the ground, the potential for everything to cascade into place is greater. Now you might wonder why I have four, three screens open and I'm not just uh, playing one and then playing the next. And the reason is, if I have it on a tab, um, it, it has to, it, it only works while I have that window open. Uh, so I'll, I'll make a move and it'll kind of freeze there until I go back to that tab and then it'll finish whatever it's doing. But if I have it open on, in three different windows instead of three different tabs, then uh, these, you know, while one is playing out, the others can be playing out. It's not as efficient on this level as it is on uh, 1476, nor is it as efficient on uh, this browser for me. Other people who have a faster browser or higher processing speed or they've got their computer configured just right will have an easier time. Hello, meant to do this. Others who uh, are having trouble with their browser will have a more difficult time. So this might not work for everybody, but then you can always consider how can I improve the quality of my computer to do this. For me, it's not, oh, I'll make this, it's not terribly important for me to consider that because this is not the browser I tend to use. I'm just doing this for the tutorial's sake. Now, one way to um, get the cascades going is to try to make the moves as low to the ground as possible. Another way is to uh, make some kind of big disruption, like taking out something with a color bomb. That tends to create enough chaos on the board to have that cascading occur. Okay, let's see. Oh, that one's still going. <laughs> I'll just let it go. All right, and every once in a while I might want to take a look and check how well I'm doing on my progress. I only have 15 moves left and I still have 85 of these to collect. Anytime I take out a color, it concentrates the rest of the colors. And I'm collecting green even if I'm not selecting green. Uh, here I need 79 and 22 moves, so that's about on track. Uh, here I'm looking for about a 3 to 1 ratio. I need to collect 3 of a color for every move I have left. Here I'm already done. I only got 14 here. Uh, so that's going to equate to 28. So on this one, I might need to open up a total of about five screens. I'm not getting nearly the, yeah, and see here's only 12, so that's 24. And see, but I also have not been paying attention, so I kind of missed those moves. On this last one, I'll see if I can get more. Now, right away, what I should do, but I'm not going to, in order to fulfill um, the number I need is open up another tab and 
uh, or three <laughs> to make sure I can collect enough and open up this level on those tabs if this is the level I prefer. Again, I like 281. It's kind of self-working, but if there's a different level you prefer, you can always go for that. Yeah, I'm just collecting these way too quickly. But here I got 32 out of this one, so not bad. Okay, so here is my collection. I'll get a total of 12 of these when I collect all 180, and I may have already collected uh, some sugar drops from other levels. So we have two here. And then this one doesn't say I collected any, which means I either already collected or still have 10 to collect. Just letting this play through. And now if I go to the screen, because I've completed some of these levels and have already collected, if I go here you'll notice 282 is, or 281 is no longer available for me for collection. I would have to choose a different level. Okay, so we got a total of 17 there, so 34. And that's ticking through. And now I got three more of my rewards, two lollies and a lucky. And now I still have more to collect. Oh, no, I don't. I did collect before. So now I've got a, instead of a number of how many I have collected compared to how many I need. Now I have a timer and so I know that in eight hours I can come back and do this again. If you want to see more videos you can subscribe and as always thanks for watching.